right, so here he is, the number one UFC middleweight contender. And in this era, that's saying something, right? To get through this gauntlet and emerge out of the pack, realize a UFC title shot. Now the world finds out what exactly this man can do. You know, John, as we've spoken about, in Shark Investment Waters trying to manage and navigate through this division, it's one thing to get here, and it's a major accomplishment. But to become the champ... Ready, fight. Ready. All right, here we go. The wait is over. The UFC's 185-pound title is up for grabs right here, right now. He gets to the spot, the high point. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, nice strength. That'll work. All right, clinch situation here. Pursued by the wrestler. A nice job to get inside against the kickboxer who candidly doesn't like this dirty boxing on the inside. He doesn't want to be close. He wants space. He wants things to look clean. This wrestler wants to grind on you. He wants to wear you down. He wants to make you carry his weight for as long as you're inside the octagon. It is so exhausting and fatiguing to fight this type of fight. And there's a takedown attempt. Straight right, he misses. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. Missed with that attempt. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. His double leg shot. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Back to his feet. Guillotine jump. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Oh, how about the ankle pick there? Well, if the single leg, the double leg's not working. Go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him. There. Boy, you gotta keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. He's got a lot of good movement. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet nicely done. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. And now some separation. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. And right now it's starting to show. And that spinning kick out its home up top. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Shot of double leg. Oh, and you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the Matt John papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man. Right <laughs> this table is a mess. Second round, straight ahead. So the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gets you ready. You ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, 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 oh. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Shimaev's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. And an immediate transition to the 2 0 throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Side control now. In side control, he's got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Shimaev's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, wow, oh! Work. It up. Hang on work. a second. Beautiful job to escape. The level of awareness that he just showed there tells you how high level a mixed martial artist man is. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. 
Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land ground and pound here or if you're gonna go to submission. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hamza Chima. Nice transition. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's gotta move, John. He's gotta shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent. You can either chase ground and pound or you can go to submission. Right now, it looks like he's trying to get to an arm triangle. He needs to push the left it looks like he's trying to get an arm triangle, but he's got to get to the opposite side, get his chest to the mat, and find that finish. Oh, he gets a minute. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. That kick blocked by Chimaya. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Hamza Chimaya. Try to establish that jab. Oh. Ten minutes in the books. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Turning his hip over into the leg kick. Master both ways. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Nice guillotine to tip here. Oh! Somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. All right, so the ref is going to step in here, yes, and call on the doctor to look at that nose job. Might need one after this fight. <laughs> he might, because his face looks so different. He's unrecognizable from yesterday. The blood has really become a problem for him. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and... All right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's see how he deals with this bad cut. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back on the way. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance. And as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they, they start bleeding. And sometimes guy's eye is hanging off the side uh -huh. of his head. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, man. That cut is just bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a stoppage here. So a lot of blood. The amount of blood that is leaking from this guy. It's amazing that he's still standing. He has been beat up thoroughly. Tonight is not going to be his night. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Man, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch. Man, and he's got it hurt very bad. Big, big shots here. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritize the 
finish tonight absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still.